Well, hello. Here is the continuation of the purple pour, which I am going to be embellishing today. Um, before I get started on what I'm going to be doing with this, I just want to give a shout out to Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Thank you so much for giving me, me, this tiny little YouTuber a shout out on your channel because what actually ended up happening was I had some of your amazing subscribers come over to my channel and watch my channel and then subscribe to my channel and they are such nice people and all of you who did subscribe to my channel and who left me such amazing comments and such positive feedback and even enjoying my bizarre quirky personality I can't tell you how grateful I am because for a misfit like me it means a lot so, without further ado, I'm Lydia Broderick, and welcome to my channel. I totally just, like, what? I don't know what happened. I think I grabbed onto my light and it just kind of did some... Okay, we're just going to ignore that. <laughs> So believe it or not, I am actually going to turn this into a portrait. P-O-U-R-T-R-A-I-T. Thank you. Because that's kind of what I do. And we're going to get started on this. I think it's going to be a beautiful painting by the time that I'm done with it. So I'll put it on time lapse and um, I'll not be talking. Because <laughs> Lord knows what's going to come out of this mouth. I don't usually know until it happens. So I had to do a little bit of a pause in the middle of painting this because I had another idea that kind of came into my head as I was watching myself paint this, because that happens. Um, I was realizing that it had kind of a floral thing going on and it almost like she was emerging from this floral situation. I don't hear that every day. Right? We have a floral situation at aisle three. Someone's been throwing rose petals. It was a very romantic shopping trip. So because uh, <laughs> I love symbolism. You know that people actually used to use flowers to send messages? I have a book, it's called Flora Symbolica, and it tells you the meaning of all these flowers. So, And they call these little bouquets tussy mussies, and they would send them to people, and it would be like messages hidden in flowers. Um, kind of romantic, unless you got marigolds, means grief. According to the Victorian definition of meaning of flowers, sim symbolism, but I love symbolism. So I was like, I need butterflies. Butterflies represent transformation, definitely need butterflies. And so I was like, oh man, I wish I hadn't put oil paint on this already, but this whole part of it is not covered in oil paint. So I'm going to be very, very clever about this, ugh, clever about this whole situation. So what I decided to do is I decided to take photo paper, that thick photo paper that you can get from Staples or whatever. And I drew butterfly shapes and then cut them out with a razor blade essentially making my own butterfly stencils it's very it's a very banksy-ish thing to do because i love banksy so i have a bunch of these butterflies that i Created. Look, you can see the painting through the butterflies. Oh, they are so butterfly-ish. And I'm going to use my Liquitex spray paint and cover this, obviously, to lighten up the areas where I want the butterflies to be because this is all about experimentation. I love experimentation. And we're going to see how this looks. I think it'll look really cool because then I can embellish the butterflies with oil paint once I get them on there. And then it'll make this process a little bit quicker than having to paint out a whole bunch of little individual butterflies on this. And I made my own stencils in the process, which 
kind of cool. Never, I've actually never done this before, so this is truly experimental. <laughs> I am a genius. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm sure someone else has done this before, but I feel pretty good about myself right now. So let's do this. Hey. Okay, so what I've basically done is I'm covering this up with wax paper because this oil paint is wet and I really don't want to smudge it or anything. <laughs> See, this is, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So, um, I'm gonna use my stencils. I'm gonna create butterflies, covering everything else up that I don't want the spray paint to go on. And um, here we go. A little nervous. So this is the completed painting of the purple pour. I, I get this kind of feeling of like the whole floral vibe and the butterflies being kind of this transformative power because it symbolizes transformation obviously. The butterfly goes into the, well the caterpillar. Technically it's a caterpillar that goes into the chrysalis state and then emerges as this beautiful butterfly and so on and so forth. So transformation is kind of the theme of this painting and um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I, It's kind of like one of my faves so far and I was really kind of nervous about spray painting these butterflies on gave me butterflies to spray paint the butterflies because I I could have effed this up like legit ruined the whole entire thing but I didn't I was super careful about that and um yeah it turned out turned out to be a a pretty cool painting woohoo totally nailed it again just Good job, Lydia. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Thank you again to Karen from Waterfall Acrylics for giving me a shout out on your channel. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. I love you guys. Bye. Didn't screw that one up. Nailed it. Thank you.
of lies. It's dramatic. Now. Squats, bitch. Alright, now on the right height. 